The Emperor Hadrian, after many years of rule, is in ill health and greatly concerned about the future of the Roman Empire. His grandson Marcus is destined to one day rule, but only if he is able to avoid the dangers of treason. The future of the Empire lies at the crossroads. The forces of evil and treachery now at last begin to stir. citizens of Rome. Behold my grandson, my heir and the future of Rome. May the birth of this child carry the empire to peace and prosperity. Enough with war, enough with bloodshed, enough with death. No longer shall mothers, wives and daughters like my daughter Domitia weep cruel tears over the death of a husband. My people of Rome, the future of the empire rests with this child. I call on the gods themselves to give their blessings and their protection to Prince Marcus. You fool! Your pathetic gods were not even able to protect your heir, Prospero. Oh, Anubis, my lord and master, your wishes will be fulfilled. When the blood of hatred is made to boil in their hearts, then all of Rome will suffer. The child that you cradle in your arms is still too small to even be able to cry for the father he has never known. But there is another child whose suffering dwarfs even his. His tears will fill up the ocean, and his anger will arrive in Rome to leave destruction in its wake. And nobody, not a living soul, will be able to escape alive! Hurry, Niobe! Keep running! <sighs> <laughs> Fabio, we're trapped. We'll have to surrender. Not to the Praetorian Guard. They're not the type to take prisoners alive. You and the baby hide in there and I'll distract them. No, there must be another way. This isn't the time to argue with me. Don't be afraid, my beloved. Just do as I say and hide. And no matter what happens, you must stay hidden. Nothing is more important to me than family. You and my son. There they are! <gasps> Move along now. Halt! Enough! Stop right there! Don't even... Where is your 
wife and child. Answer me. Answer him. Hmm, sleep. Mm. I am the governor of Antioch. You had best lower that sword or your emperor will execute you for treason. You mean you were the governor of Antioch. Now you're a corpse. Halt! You, but of course it all makes sense now. Where have you hidden your wife and child? If you so much as touch a hair on their head, I swear I'll- You swear you'll what exactly? If any harm should come to them, I promise it will be your fault, not mine. Isn't it enough that you spilled the blood of Prince Prospero? How many more people will you kill in your mad lust for power? As many as I need to. <gasps> the Emperor will know of your treachery, you can be sure of that! The Emperor will know only what I tell him, Fabio. He will believe that today I have executed a traitor of the Roman Empire! No! Yes! The forces of evil have claimed their first victim! <laughs> but what shall become of the little prince? I, Canidia, dark priestess of Anubis, do swear that in twelve years' time, he will lose his house, his loved ones, his life, <laughs> and the corpses which shall litter Rome will be the triumph of Anubis! Oh, my poor baby. Don't worry, it's nothing, nothing. Oh, my father, what's happening? Are the gods angry? Innocent blood has been spilled this day, and it has been spilled, your highness, in the name of Rome. <gasps> A terrible evil committed under the banner of the Empire. I think you've been out in the rain too long. What are you talking about? I'm speaking about the blood of a loyal man who has been betrayed. Emperor, this is your traitor. Behind that golden mask is the leader of a cult of subversives. They're traitors to Rome. Instead of loyalty to the great Roman Empire, they worship Mitra, a false god that seeks to disrupt and free our slaves. <laughs> So what have you to say, Heliodorus? It no longer matters. Blood calls for blood, and it will be one you hold dear who is next in line. The dark forces that have brought Rome to sacrifice the life of an innocent man will soon want in exchange that of your grandson. Even you can't change the events set in motion. Enough! I grow weary of your dark prophecies, Heliodorus. They are like the ravings of a madman. The cult of Mitra is a dead religion, and its members are all either in exile or forced to live as slaves. I command you to go! In twelve years, Prince Marcus will die, unless the Chosen One arrives to save him. He must be a great This man will be the ruin of us all. He has betrayed Rome! <gasps> oh. <sighs> Follow me. We'll search the cave. Here. So that you may always remember. There she is! I beg you, he's only a child! Give him to me! Please, no! Anything but my baby! No! Shut up. My son! Please, I'm begging you! Give I him want you back to, to me! This woman. Give me back my Shut child! Up. Ali! My baby, please! You monsters, you won't get away with this! Look out! No! Oh. Magic beast. Hey, get over here. You're not so tough. When I'm through with you, there'll be nothing left but a fur coat for my wife. Unbelievable. Let's go. We wasted enough time here. Let the beast kill the child for us. Why should we get our hands dirty? So I said, that's not my wife! <laughs>
Nice kitty kitty, run along now. Oh no, help me! Huh? Somebody call the guards! Leave the beast to me. Huh? I can wrestle him to the ground uh, for uh, ten coins. I'll give you five if you manage to live. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Uh, uh, ten coins? My price just went up to twenty coins. And as a matter of fact, you can throw in three loaves of bread and a jug uh, of wine. Take whatever you want. Take everything. Just please hurry up and get rid of this beast. Pretty please. Okay, you beast. Ali is not afraid of you. Now back away from that fat, greasy Roman and see how you handle me. <laughs> There you go. Now I believe you owe me a fee. What's going on here? Huh? Guards, this huh? filthy beggar tried to steal from me. No, huh? He's a liar. The voice saved his life. Arrest Come with him. me. Arrest the liar. Liar. Let go of me. Stop for <laughs> me. Ah, Let's get out of here. That does it. You just bought yourself a ticket to jail. No, my friend. These pigs will give you a stomach ache. Now get going before I change my mind. I said go! So I'm a thief, am I? No, no, it was just a little joke. You'll get 20 gold pieces, just like I promised. Uh, no. The price for you just went up. <gasps> hey, everybody! Dinner's on me! Here you go! Give me some! Oh, thank you! Oh. <laughs> Have some. Thank you. Let's go, my little friend. I'll walk you to your house. <laughs> you shouldn't walk around alone. Hi. Here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. My brothers are just little babies. I always have to look out for them. And that's for talking back to me! A slave must know their place! Huh? But no, it's not right! Over there is my house. <gasps> Mama, look! I have fresh bread! Enough for everyone! Come on, my friend, it's time we went to our home. So lonely. <clears throat> it must be nice to have a mother. I don't have anyone who looks after me. I'm sorry, you're right. There's you. You really think my mother could still be alive? But where? Hmm? Hmm. You're right. If I knew where this medallion came from, then maybe I'd know what happened to my parents. I know it's not a signet from the house of Caius, so it just can't be from Antioch. My parents must have come from across the sea. One day I will find their assassin, and then I will have my revenge. Put up your sword now. Fight him, my lord. Get him, Captain, the get glory him. of Rome. Yeah. Kill him, uh, look at his footwork. Kill him. Yeah. Don't Don't him. So you call yourself a Roman? <laughs> the coward die! No one defeats Contilius. He is our lord and master. master. The emperor wishes to see you. Does he? Yeah. <sighs> 
Take him out of here. Go feed that worthless wretch to the lions. He is not worthy to be one of the Praetorian Guard. It would seem that our troubles in Antioch never end. Always the same complaints. The people are starved by the taxes, yet Governor Caius sends less and less money to Rome. He claims that someone is stealing from the treasury. Caius is not the problem. Hmm? It is the followers of that sect, the Cult of Mitra. They only wish to spread their vicious lies to the slaves of Antioch and encourage discord among the masses. Great Caesar, please accept my word as truth. I have known Governor Caius for many years. You are right, but I will ask you a big favor. Since you are so friendly with the governor, I want you to journey to Antioch and see for yourself how Caius conducts his affairs. If it would please your excellency, I can be ready to depart tomorrow. Antonius, make the necessary preparations. Thank you, noble Catilius. You have been a great help. After the death of Prince Prospero, your support has been essential. I shudder to think that I had almost given the Imperial Signet Ring to Fabio, this heirloom of the throne. Upon my death, the Empire would have ended in the hands of a common traitor. I'm sure your life still has many years left, Emperor. But when that sad moment arrives, I'm confident that you will choose wisely. Up higher! Up higher! The mirror is supposed to be the sun! Oh, it's too bright! Return to your spot! I order you to return to your spot! You're Mercury! But Prince, don't you understand? You have this all wrong! The planet Earth is the center of the universe, not the sun! Turn! Turn! You see? This is how it's supposed to work! The planets revolve around the sun, which is fixed! Now where is Dora? I need my Earth! Dora! Get over here right now! You're ruining my experiment! I am a lady of the house of Princess Domitia. I refuse to play the planet Earth if huh? it is not going to be at the center. If I must continue with this nonsense, then I insist on playing the part of Venus. That's enough! I'm fed up! Your attitude is preventing me from demonstrating my new theory. If you want to remain ignorant, then please be my guest. Now I'm gonna go find my grandfather. Grandpa! Marcus! I was just thinking about you. How are you, my little one? This palace is full of traitors. <sighs> what are you saying? Nobody wants to help me. They're preventing me from showing my discoveries. And what marvelous <sighs> discovery have you made today? It's not the Earth that is the center of the universe. It's the sun. Yes, the sun is the center of the universe, but perhaps the Earth is too. The boy has some truly fanciful notions. Hey, you know what? I just thought of something. That sphere. What if the Earth, instead of being flat, is round? But of course, that's it. If the Earth is a sphere, that would explain everything. I need to go write this up. You know, Catilius, sometimes I worry about that boy. His mind is always lost in these absurd theories. I have to wonder if he's cut out to be emperor. His teachers have given him the wrong education. Marcus is almost 13 years old, and he has spent his life with his nose in his books. What do you suggest? Your grandson needs to see the world and have new experiences. I suggest you let him travel with me to Antioch. All the way to the edge of the Empire. A very dangerous journey. He will have me to protect him. Quite correct. The boy is not yet ready for the great destiny that awaits him. I was hoping that perhaps I still had time, but it seems my old heart worsens with each passing day. You make the preparations for the journey, and Marcus will travel with you. What's wrong? Are you feeling alright? I'm sure it's just the usual chest pains. I will call your physician. She will know exactly what to do. <laughs> Please drink down all of this tonic, my Emperor. It is a powerful medicine that was known to the ancient Egyptians. Mm. There. You must rest now. Mm. <laughs> Father! <laughs> What's wrong? It's nothing. Just one of my usual attacks. Though I confess they are becoming more frequent lately. We will call other physicians. We will try other medicines. No, my daughter. It would be a waste of time. <sighs> we both know that my life is about to end. 
My remaining days are now numbered, and Marcus is only twelve years old. The Empire needs a man. You have a duty, Demetria. <gasps> mm. I know you will honor that duty. No, father. You can ask me for anything, but don't ask for that. After the death of Prospero, my heart has been closed. Though I am your father, I am the Emperor first. And as Emperor, I demand that when you return from Antioch, you get married. <laughs> the moment that you have waited for has at last arrived. Your plan has been a brilliant one. Away from it will be quite simple to be rid of that useless little boy. The Emperor trusts me, and in a few short months, my poison will have worked its magic. We must tear apart the very fabric of his dynasty and his empire. And you are sure of the effect of your poison? By the time you return from Antioch, a mere drop will be enough to kill him. But before that, you must convince Domitia to marry you. That has always been our plan. And it is indeed a marvelous plan for me. I shall assume the throne of Emperor. I shall rule the world. But what do you get? My revenge! I get revenge! And the gratitude of the future Emperor of Rome. Now go, Catilius. Know that Anubis is with you. <laughs> We're setting sail for Antioch, lads. Prepare to cast off. <gasps> Is everything all right, my prince? Has something frightened you? Uh, no. I'm not afraid of anything. All right. Just remember this, my prince. The trip is a long one, and in this season the sea can be a harsh mistress. There will be storms, and typhoons, maybe even sea monsters! <gasps> and don't forget the pirates. I'm sure they just love to cut the throat of a Roman prince. <laughs> ah, ah, huh? Quickly! Someone save my babies! <laughs> <laughs> be careful! You're carrying my entire wardrobe, and it's very delicate. If you get even one drop of water on them, they'll be ruined. Watch it! Ah! Oh, no. Simply ruined. Grandpa, I was thinking that it might be a better idea if I remain here. I have so many things to do. I still have to show that the Earth turns around the sun, and then all my experiments with lightning that I need to complete. And what if someone entered my laboratory while I was away and set everything on fire? No, I really don't think that this is the best time for me to travel. It would probably be best if we waited until next year. This journey isn't just a whim, my son. It will be good for you to see the world. You'll see many things, like great forests and the vast raging sea. And pirates. Yeah, I know. I have no interest in that. It must interest you, Marcus. An emperor must know every inch of his empire. Emperor? This signet ring was given to me by the Emperor Triano. On the eve of a horrible battle, he told me that if something happened to him, I would have to be strong and to take his place. I have worn this ring ever since. I am too old and you are much too young, but my hope is that you will return from this journey much stronger and much more mature. And if anything happens to me while you are gone... What do you mean, Grandpa? What could happen to you? I don't understand. One day you will grow to be big and strong. And I know this ring will fit you well indeed. On that day, you will be Emperor of Rome. But why me? Why do I have to become an Emperor? I... You see, I don't think I really want to be that. I want to be a scientist and also, I am afraid. Your fear will pass. You are destined to rule Rome. It is important that nobody know the choice I have made this day. Otherwise, Prince Marcus would be in serious danger. Take care of my grandson. His life and the future of the Empire is in your hands. May the gods bless this journey. Hmm. You have nothing at all to fear, Prince Marcus. For I will protect you.
Non ci fanno paura.